Microsoft just launched Majorana One, a quantum chip that is so fast, it is mind-bending, literally. While our best supercomputers would need billions of years to discover a single cancer drug, this chip could do it during your lunch break. But what is so different about Microsoft's Majorana chip? How is it different from Google and IBM's quantum approach? What are its implications on AI? We will dive into all that and more. But first, let's start with what is quantum computing? At its core, quantum computing represents a fundamental shift in how we process information. To understand how, let's visit a library. Imagine you need to find a book with a specific sentence inside. A classical computer is like having to check each book one at a time, page by page, even with thousands of librarians or processing cores, each one still needs to read their books sequentially. Now, quantum computing is like being able to read every book in the library simultaneously. When the quantum system gets to its solution, it's as if the exact book you need suddenly glows, revealing the answer instantly. This magical ability comes from qubits. Now, what are qubits? Qubits are the building blocks of quantum computers. Imagine trying to balance a pencil perfectly on its tip. The slightest breeze, vibration, or disturbance will cause it to fall. That's what qubits are like. Incredibly delicate quantum systems that can be disrupted by the tiniest environmental interference. A stray photon, a slight temperature change, or even cosmic rays passing through Earth. This extreme fragility, called decoherence, is why most quantum computers operate at temperatures colder than deep space, just a fraction of degrees above absolute zero. It's as if the only way to balance our pencil is to freeze everything around it to near perfect stillness. Now, qubits have two properties from quantum mechanics superposition and entanglement. Now, superposition is like having a coin that's spinning so fast, it's both heads and tails until you stop it and look. This property enables quantum computers to process vast amounts of information in parallel. A system with just 50 qubits can represent over a quadrillion values at once. Now, just to put this in perspective, these are more computational states than there are atoms in the human body. Entanglement is even stranger. Imagine two magically connected coins. When one stops spinning, the other instantly stops too, even if they are on opposite sides of the universe. Einstein called this spooky action at a distance. In quantum computers, this allows qubits to work together in perfect coordination, creating computational power impossible to achieve otherwise. Now, difference between Microsoft, Google, and IBM's approach, different companies use different approaches to create these qubits. Let's understand how Microsoft's approach is different from what Google and IBM are doing. Think of Microsoft's approach like building a naturally error-resistant highway system. Majorana One chip uses topological qubits. These exotic quasi-particles are like storing information in the shape of a knot rather than in fragile object. To corrupt this information, you would need to disrupt the system in multiple places simultaneously, like needing to damage both sides of the highway before traffic stops flowing. This inherent error resistance is why Microsoft believes they can scale from eight qubits all the way to one million, potentially leapfrogging the quantum race. Now, Google's approach is like building an army of skydivers with backup parachutes. Google first claimed 
quantum supremacy in 2019 by performing a calculation that would take classical supercomputers thousands of years. Their strategy focuses on increasing raw qubit count, betting that more skydivers, even with occasional failures, will ultimately get the job done. Now, Google prioritizes scaling up superconducting qubits, a more established approach technology, while managing errors through redundancy. Their 105 qubit Willow chip employs surface code error correction, which essentially means using multiple physical qubits to represent a single logical qubit that can withstand errors. It's like really having multiple backup parachutes in case one fails. Now, IBM's method is like building a hybrid transportation network that combines the specialized vehicles. So IBM combines superconducting qubits with modular architectures. Now imagine specialized vehicles that can connect to form larger, more capable systems. IBM focuses on quantum utility, delivering practical advantages in real world applications today rather than waiting for perfect systems. Their 1,121 qubit Condor processor specializes in problems like logistics and material science, much like how trains excel at freight while cars excel at flexibility. Each vehicle has its own purpose in the network. This is the exciting part. Now, quantum algorithms could train AI models in hours instead of months by evaluating countless neural network configurations simultaneously. Quantum computing could also create more transparent AI by exploring the entire solution space, revealing why AI makes specific decisions. Quantum enhanced AI might learn effectively from much smaller data sets, bringing AI capabilities to industries with limited amount of data. Now, quantum computers could also unlock entirely new AI architectures that are impossible to train on classical systems. Now, Microsoft's error resistant approach could be specially valuable for AI applications where stability and reliability are really critical. While Microsoft, Google, and IBM's quantum approach represent different paths, they all converge on a future where quantum computing obviously can address humanity's most pressing challenges. Now, skepticism obviously remains, but it does not look impossible anymore, which makes me very excited. Although it's still far, I'm excited for the future of tech where we use quantum computing. If you enjoyed this video and exploration of quantum computing with me, hit that like and subscribe button for more deep dives into technology, cloud, and AI.